the time, so I'm going to keep them playing. So after this, I'm going to take a break and come back. Go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, uh, Omar, thank you very much for a wonderful magic first set. Also, Gustavo, thank you very much. Thank you. Ich habe Ihnen nicht äh, zu viel versprochen heute Abend, äh, äh, ein wunderbares Konzert bisher und ich glaube, wir werden noch sehr viel mehr großartige Musik hören. Äh, Omar, um, you were born of, uh, in Kuba. Kamaui, yeah, Kuba. In Kuba. Kamaui, Kuba. April 10, 1965, 48 years old. Really? Yeah. Uh, you were much longer. He's a, he's a 1967. He's a younger one. I keep old. I have a white hair too. <laughs> At least he still got some hair. You too, I don't have. Well, you know, it's a younger one. Something happens. Sometimes. I don't know what, but one day it was gone. Uh, Omar, it, you grew up in a family who played all. Everybody played music, I guess, in Cuba. It has to be, or? Well, I born in. A, I grew up in a country. With Everybody played music. Yes. And your family too? You know what? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This is not possible. Well, it's possible. It's possible. You know, sometimes uh, yeah, the people say, well, you have somebody in your family play music. How you come to the music? You know, I come to the music because my father, he, he, used, to, he used to love jazz. He used to love a comedy, to Callington, I can call. And every Sunday, every single Sunday, He take a box of beer and a big uh, a rum, bim bam, bim bam, bim bam. And he listened to this, and of course I was there. It was party with everybody in the in the, in the village, and I I always say, well, this music I have something. I say, Daddy, what? So many jets, many jets. Yeah, to yeah. um, Callington, you know. You, Jesus. Yeah, to Callington. <laughs> <laughs> so what's interesting for me because. You know, but by that time, I don't have any idea uh, how peaceful jazz is in such a kind of moment. I don't want to say all the time. So sometimes jazz is... Yes, uh, could be really... <coughs> can, can be heavy. <laughs> can be really heavy. But, you know, I asked to my... I remember when my, my father passed. I asked to my, to my dad, I said, Dad, why do you like this music? And why do you always have your little wrong and you'll be asleep because this is love. This is I say, Could you well, talk to yeah. me? Well, this is a microphone. <laughs> 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 okay. So, we the music. And how was it with him? Yeah, it sounds like in the Latin side of the world, everybody drink the, the weekend. And because what they would always say, well, the, the same thing happened in my family. You know, my father, every Sunday, he takes some rum. <laughs> oh, this is heavy. Yeah, he say, he wait, he wait, he wait to, to the moment his father was drunk to take out the maraca. You're going to see later, this is going to be the last piece of the concert. It's going to be so silly. Can, can you grab the maraca? It's a little workshop. This is what I say. This is cool. <laughs> yeah, most of the time you give the calls. <laughs> you know, the last piece we're going to do is this. This is the foundation, one of the, he the strongest instruments in the Venezuela tradition of music. <laughs> going to be the last piece of the, of, of the, of the show. Longer, longer. Of course, it's going to be two ta three times this. Always three times. Okay, so, so uh, you live now in Europe, both of you. You live in Barcelona. You went first, as I, I uh, read, you went first to Mallorca. Yeah. <laughs> Mallorca? You know that is... I love your parents. It's German. <laughs> We are romantic guys. Yeah, we got some little, but we are romantic. So, okay. you know what? The, your, the life, life moves you to one place to another. You know, in we Mallorca, it's Germany. In a, no, in a way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, 
This one in hat allein Haus auf Mallorca. No, 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 no anymore. No anymore. <laughs> yeah, before was actually actually I remember the first time I went to Mallorca. You know, I see I, I see in a in a little place. We speak Spanish. <laughs> You also see in, in Italy, you see the, the here Deutsche Filter Cafe in Italy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was fine here I say, this is Spain. I discovered later this is a strong German community. Like in now, what, you know, I, I used to live last year in Menorca. I, you know, I'm, so he's, he's Leno, I'm an island guy. So it's having the same thing with the English people. So I say, well, it's better to come back to Barcelona. <laughs> because you know, at least, I, at least my, my kids, they speak Catalan. I don't speak Catalan, but I understand. But they speak Spanish. But now, it's, it's come back to the same scene in, in Catalonia. We speak Spanish. <laughs> well, you know, if somebody, if somebody know what happened with Catalonia and Madrid, and it's kind of talk. We are here to talk about music. <laughs> yeah. Then you went to San Francisco. What about America? Well, I started my, I started my, my career there. I mean, Gustavo, he came from, the, from Venezuela to Paris, right? To be with the Venezuela director of Paris. Yeah, director of Paris. Actually, the connection between Venezuela and France is really, really strong. It's, it's, it's a strong community of a Venezolano, 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 in, 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 in France. So well, that was one of the big flags. They keep the Venezuelan tradition alive all over the world. So please give it up for Gustavo. Now, we lived uh, since uh, '99 in Barcelona, I guess, and it's a wonderful city. Yes. And uh, I saw you on a video. You played there and recorded also with the Andy ah, Arby band. Oh, it's wonderful. Andy, Andy. Uh, uh, Palau de la Musica, which is a wonderful concert hall. Like, you, you never, I, play, I think you play every week there, more or less. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This is not so easy. You know, you, sometimes you, you, you have your lucky day. And that was one. This was one. <laughs> you, got, you got, for this, you got an echo. There is a yeah, German echo. 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 Uh, und er hat dafür ein, ein Echo gekriegt, zusammen mit der NDR Big Band, mit dem wunderbaren Arrangeur und Komponisten äh, Morel Jack Morel Actually, it's interesting, because we got the opportunity to do the... the everybody is telling this okay? Yeah. yeah, we got the opportunity to, uh, to have this uh, event, and at the beginning it was really complicated. Because the Spanish people, they, they, don't, they don't know the... the Organization of a German people. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, check it out because it's, 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 it's heavy. The one, the the what I'm gonna say. In the beginning, they say, okay, no problem. We're gonna do the gig. One week, two weeks, three weeks, no news. And and the people from the end here say, what happened? We have our schedule. We need the time. Say, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. I I call my people in Barcelona and say, hey. These people, they're not Brazilian, they're not Portuguese, they're not African, they're German. And they say, they go, they go. So, they, say they, they, they say, they do, they do, don't, don't do. Well, in the end, we get the opportunity to do the video. And, it's great. and, and it was great because it was connection between France and Barcelona and Hamburg in Germany. And there's something I love, I always say thank you to these guys in the corner, Bernard Skid. We come later to you. Yeah. We come later. He's, yeah, he's one of the most important person in our career here in Germany. Sometimes we don't give. You know, I want to say this today because they give me a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they don't give me a microphone. I don't want to say this. But you know, the energy is so cool here. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for having this light project. This light because. It's all about light. It's all about love and light. And I, I feel here only love. Is somebody not? The door is there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the point. You know, where is Kibbe? You know, it's the first time I play, I see him there. 
because I never see him because he's always in the back, shaking. Concert, you know, we, when we started working together, bro? 1990. 1999. <laughs> we are in 2013. <laughs> so, we are family, and the way we, the way we feel everything is trying to project what we feel inside of us with love. And he support this. You know, today, record company, everybody know what happened with the music industry. <coughs> you know, it's almost, you know, the people don't even want to listen music in a good way because everything is compressed in the, in the computer. So, I see a lot of faces here. For sure, they have a good story at home. I see faces here. But when, I, when they give me a microphone, the first thing I try to express is, please, keep and listen to music in the way it's supposed to be. Listen in the proper way. Relax, enjoy. Even if you cook, you do whatever you like. But listen properly. Don't listen in the crappy speaker. You can hear this. You can listen now. And, you, and it's hard. It's hard to make a record. It's easy, but it's hard. It's easy if you want to do it quickly, but it's hard if you want to do it in the proper way because it's all is cool. And all is cool is the, the floor. This is what I feel. A young boy, not a young guy, almost 50. Um, I have to say. Uh, thank you. I have to say, Bernd Skibbe is the boss of Skip Records, who produces all the records of Omar and a lot of other fantastic musicians. And uh, Bernd, I can mich der den Honneurs nur anschließen von Omar. Gott sei Dank, dass es Leute wie dich noch gibt, die diese Musik produzieren. Danke. First time in the middle of the concert, we do this kind of friendly thing. I don't know if I need to stop or go play or whatever. But you know, you know, but it's great to have you here. You have a good time? Yeah. 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 Uh, I see that uh, as we are already with Bern, uh, that you have a special relationship to trumpet players. I saw fantastic videos of you playing with uh, Paolo Frizzo yeah, and with yeah. Trilo Goto. Maybe you know Trilo Goto is a wonderful percussion player from India. He plays with Young Garbarek and his own project. And they, the three of them played together, unbelievable. And uh, now you did on the label of Bernd, on Skip Records, a new project which uh, is based on the maybe the most important jazz album of oh, all yeah, times. Yeah. This is kind of blue from Miles Davis. And you see, let me just say this, and you have another trumpet player, a wonderful German friend and trumpet player, Joe Kraus in this, and I read about this, I did not listen to it up to now, I will do it on my way, way back to the, on the highway. Christmas present, buy some record. I make some, <laughs> I make some publicita for you now. And uh, this uh, recording is called uh, Egun, and basiert auf uh, dem Album Miles Davis, uh, Kind of Blue. But you did it very specially. You did not just take the tunes and we recorded it. Could you explain to the audience how you treated this music of well, Kind of Blue? Well, we did. I need to say we because. Make it short, only two hours. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yeah, yeah. The first, I. It was a commission for the Barcelona Jazz Festival to, to uh, revise Kind of Blue. And in the beginning, I say, you want to help me or you want to kill me? <coughs> because how you how you want to do something already in the market, on top of on top of down on mark of masterpiece kind of blue is already a masterpiece it's no way it's gonna be forever but I, you know in the beginning I say no but always you know women my wife told me Omar you know be relaxed don't 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 have fear your wife this is a mild work but you can do your own work based on math. So I said, okay, yeah. yeah. But I start uh, read a lot of book about math. And that one phrase treat me to, to do the project. Miles always say, be yourself. When I, when I, I read this phrase, I say, bingo. I got it. <laughs> no, because it's, it's a heart. 
you know, Miles is, 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 is one of the guys who moved the music, the jazz, the universal language of jazz in, in, the, in the way, actually almost in the way we play today. So who I am to say, Miles, I want to tell you music, I want to say, ah, but it's, no, you know, I, I, you know, I, I love, them. I respect all the, the elders. And in the end, I, I see like a 20 video of Miles, listen, I, I don't know how, 40 record of Miles. My whole entire house was tired of listening to Miles. My daughters know Miles baby like, like me. Yeah, she's eight years old and she says, Daddy, it's, it's not possible to listen to another music? <laughs> I said, no, I, I have a word. But what, the reality is, I go to the end, you know, I take the fragments of the solos of, of uh, Adelie, Coltrane, and Miles. I take one bar, I don't know if some people know about music here because it's too complex what I say maybe. I take it, I say, three, let's say, for example, it's just an interesting. <laughs> it, 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 one, one, one voice, they say, one voice, play this, another voice, play. Yeah, another point, but, and the three, they play. The three, of course. So what I did is, I listened to the record, I transcribed the solos, and I take fragments, and glue it together. When I glue it, I, I say, wow, it fits perfect. Why it fits perfect? Because there are three improvised in the same harmony. So, everything's supposed to be perfect, because they play perfect. <laughs> so I take fragments, and I relay, and I, and I create some melody based on this. And after that, I I I I go to, to 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 present the African tradition. Leonard Reuken from Benin, uh, uh, Joe Kraft from Germany, Peter Afriban from New York, Mark Gilmore from New York, Childe uh, uh, Thomas from Mozambique to create one United Nations band. Play the music of Miles, and I tell everybody, please play whatever you feel around this. And it was interesting. The result was interesting. Some people like it, it's more normal. Some people maybe not. The thanks God today, you know, the people say, okay, it's, it's, it's a music you can listen. The record is there, it is in YouTube, it's in whatever it is. Uh, well, some people listen already right here. And you know, it's there, if you can listen. My email is, you know, it's fácil Omar at yahoo.es. If you don't like, say, no. <laughs> So, I'm very curious to listen to this one. One last question. Um, you, uh, you have written somewhere, I read, that music for you is an expression of your political and spiritual consciousness. I think we could hear this already in the first yeah, session. Yeah. And uh, we are very happy to have you here. And I saw you the first time. And I was very happy, and you enriched my thank life. You. Thank you very thank much. You. We always say, yeah, thank you. We always say the idea of, of the music that we play is not demonstrative; it's contemplative. So, in that kind of concept, everything. Well, now it's easy because we already talk. We already got a family. So, but it's hard when you arrive to a stage and you try to present this kind of contemplative music. It, for some people, sometimes can be close to new age, but not. It's not new age because every element that we use is based in the in the in the human nature. We use wood, rock, waters, clay, and this is the idea because we come from Africa, and we try to present the African music with a contemporary language. And we are really happy to have people like you. They are open to listen. Without you, we are nothing because we love you.
I need to explain a little bit what happened here. Yeah, this instrument he played before is a bamboo. It's a bamboo cat, it's called Kitty Pla. Why is Kitty Pla? It's Kitty Pla, Kitty Pla. <laughs> it's a traditional instrument from the Afro Venezuela. Uh, the the Afro Venezuela tradition. And now this instrument is called Culo e Puya. Some people know about Spanish, so they know Culo means another city. <laughs> but it's called Culo Puya. It's an amazing instrument. It's come from Africa. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Well, I say, when you listen to Maraca, it's the end. <laughs> so, it's nice. It's good, it's good, it's good. I have fun, we have fun every time we play this, this piece. Because I don't know what's going to happen, but something happened. Yeah, so now, now we're going to play. Well, first, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to have you here. And please, once again, Mr. Gustavo Valle from Caracas, Venezuela.
Thank you.